What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can find out if you're affected by the libxz vulnerability. It's one of the biggest hacks and biggest security vulnerabilities pretty much in history. It even tops out Heartbleed and things like that on the CVE scale. Now that you understand the gravity of the situation, obviously having someone connect to your system, whether it's your PC or remote server, and running any code that they want is huge. In order to find out if you have the affected XZ packages, then you'll need to refer to this chart over here, which you'll find in the description down below. These are the affected versions here for all of these different systems. In order to find out what version of XZ you currently have running, you'll need to SSH into your server or wherever you're going to run it. So maybe open a console, etc. And in your terminal, you'll need to run one of a few commands. If you're on Debian or a Debian based distro run dpkg hyphen query hyphen l and inside of single quotes star xz star as such then hit enter and it'll tell you what version is currently on your system as you can see i haven't updated in a while and my xz is around 5.25 meaning that i'm far too outdated to have this bug here so it seems between 551 and 561 in order to check on these other systems such as let's say docker containers running alpine you'll run apk version xz as such or you can use apk info hyphen a then a pipe grep xz which should find anything containing xz for fedora run dnf list installed xz star and this should tell you all of the different versions of xz that are installed on fedora for kali you'll be using the same command as debian which once again was dpackage query hyphen l xz inside of quotes for open source as far as i understand you'll be running rpm hyphen q xz and if this doesn't get you the result you could likely use zipper so z y p p e r search hyphen hyphen installed only followed by let's say xz and this should return everything that's installed with xz in it with one of the names you can check the version by using zipper info followed by xz hyphen let's see one of the version numbers maybe xz utils etc then finally to check on arch you'll be using pacman hyphen q xz as such capital Q XZ that's it we've run through the major distributions here do you actually have the package well if you're running on a cutting edge rolling update system like Arch Linux you likely do if you've updated any time recently if you're using something like Ubuntu especially on the LCS branches you probably don't as those have much older outdated packages that are more stable and quote-unquote secure as this is a supply chain issue this vulnerability could be present in many different docker containers and bits of software so you'll need to find find out if your major things are affected, such as if you're hosting your own mail server, check if Docker containers are the correct versions, or check the blog for whatever mail server you're using to find out if there's any updates that need to be done, etc. Anyways, now that we've run through all of these, the only thing that's left to do is to either update your system by using something like sudo apt update on Ubuntu, for example, or something like pacman syu on Arch Linux, or even yay on Arch Linux to accomplish the same thing. On Ubuntu, it's apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Then as soon as everything's updated, you should probably be fine. Optionally, you can also run sudo apt dist upgrade to upgrade your system if it's especially old. If for some reason you're not able to update your system and get a version that is safe from this vulnerability, then you'll need to downgrade the XZ package. And of course, the commands for this will be different for your system in particular. If you check and see that you are vulnerable, update. See if you're still vulnerable once more by checking again when the update is complete. And assuming you're outside of that version window, then everything is fine. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.